A grid of squares measures 91 by 65. If you draw its diagonal, how many unit squares does it pass through? Let's explore with a 3 by 5 rectangle. The diagonal starts in the first square, crosses a vertical line, and enters the second. It then crosses a horizontal line into the third square, another vertical line into the fourth, and so on. Each time the diagonal crosses a vertical or horizontal grid line, it enters a new square. In 3 by 5 rectangle, it crosses two horizontal and four vertical lines, six crossings or six squares, including the starting square, that's seven squares. For a 4 by 5 rectangle, that would mean 4 minus 1, or three horizontal crossings, and 5 minus 1, or four vertical crossings. So seven squares plus the first one, a total of eight squares. What about a four by six rectangle? The diagonal crosses lines as usual, but at one point it hits a corner, meeting both lines at once. So instead of entering two new squares, it enters only one directly. That's because four and six share a common factor of two. Thus two two by three rectangles fit along the diagonal. In each two by three block, the diagonal crosses one horizontal and two vertical lines, including the starting square, that's four squares. So two blocks make eight squares. Similarly, 91 and 65 share a factor of 13, forming 13 blocks of seven by five along the diagonal. In each block, the diagonal crosses six horizontal and four vertical lines, including the starting square, that's 11 squares per block. With 13 such blocks, the total becomes 13 times 11 or 143 squares. Now for a 56 by 35 rectangle, how many unit squares does its diagonal pass through? 